Hi everybody, so welcome to update number two of my game that I'm developing for the PC at the moment. Um, there is pretty much a lot of stuff that I figure it out. Um, I have worked not really a lot on the project. I have actually um, thought about a lot of ideas for the game and I, uh, I found a few to the pixel artist, which is awesome. But let's get into my update. So, I'm um, just gonna open my two builds on the same screen so you can see. Um, so, first of all, I've added a simple user username that you can create. So you can actually choose your own name, it's just for uh, it just for now. So I'm gonna call myself Liron on one PC and on my other I'm gonna call myself James. I click on create user and one moment. Hmm. Seems like we have kind of an issue. What the fuck? Okay, so I figure it out. Um, it's quite complicated to explain, so I'm just gonna skip on it. But let's create a server by clicking on create, and we have here the James. Up on here the server appears, you know, click on it and name is Liron. So in this side, in this PC I can start the match, on this PC I can't. Now press start. So first of all, if you don't see, let me just make it a little bit more easy for you to understand. Um, I have added a chat system which was really really hard to actually add. I thought it would be much easier, but uh, Photon... I didn't actually find any Photon tutorials or, the, or like, you know, guides that would show you how to create a chat, so I had to like play with the demo that they gave in the package and, you know, finally I did it, so it works. Um, let me just show you, I'm gonna type... This is the match, you have actually channels that you can switch. Um, of course in the future it will be much uh, much more clean to the eye with the design. So at the moment I'm gonna type in match Hello world. So click on send as you can see test and Test of send. Hello world. I'm gonna type idle And he said idle uh, There is a few I can I need to fix the names. I can see there is a bug um, But okay, let's move on also, if you actually switch to team, uh, you know, it's uh, removing the old text uh, of the match. So yeah, first of all, let me show you the basics. The new animation I did for the player uh, was actually quite hard to do because I'm not a 2D artist, so I had to actually modify it. So if you run and shift at the same time, you have the spatial jump. Now this is hero number one. I'm gonna call there is already a setup for each hero, but this is basically the hero number one. He has a unique abilities for its own play of the game. Like, for example, he can do something that the other player cannot do, that the other hero cannot do. Uh, for example, in Overwatch, there is healers, tanks, and so on. So I want, I actually took a, a lot of inspiration from them. And um, so basically, you can actually click on Shift, and at the same time, if you hold E you can actually um, change the gravity drag and you can actually pretty much fly with it I guess and here you can press also Q which is the first attack uh, you know shoot a line of air of course there is a lot of I want to add a lot of more uh, attacks uh, there is also the deflect system which I very liked in Overwatch <laughs> Um, I saw the deflect system they did for one of those, hero, one of those uh, heroes and it sounds very very nice. I'm not sure how I'm gonna implement it in here but I have, I did create the, the animation for the hero right uh, at the moment. Uh, so let me think what I did so far. Um, oh yeah, the stick. I think in the last update we didn't have a stick. So this hero is actually going to be with a stick. I decided to add 
it's not a stick, it's a staff, uh, to be more precise. I uh, decided to add uh, the the staff because I don't know, it just gives a. Uh, it actually reminds me the uh, from the show uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the Ang stuff staff. Um, so I want the attacks to be using with the staff. You can actually, this player can actually self heal and self heal other members in his team. Uh, I'm not sure which button it is. Yeah, there you go. So it is the, the one button. So basically what it is in this couple of weeks is working on adding new animations and implementing the chat system, which was again pretty hard. It took me a few days to work on it. Uh, but I think it looks quite good and to be honest, I have actually fi found a 2D artist so there is a big chance that maybe this character will be changed in the future. Um, but other than that, I can't think on anything else I have to say. Um, I know maybe it doesn't seem a lot for 3 weeks but I have to tell you <laughs> That's the maximum that I can do with the time I have. Um, I think that's about it. Hope this video wasn't too long. Uh, for the guys that do want a tutorial on how to create a 2D multiplayer game, I saw in my last video a comment. Well, I can't at the moment give you a tutorial. I, I am actually teaching in my uh, city a few a few teenagers unity uh, for Skype and team viewer so if any of you interesting are interesting and um, you know uh, for me to teach you unity and the basic of it uh, let me let me know put a comment down below or send me an email anyway thank you guys for watching my video talk to you in the next one